That's the Marquise type stuff. That's my son, Key Dog Jackson. <laughs> What's going on, guys? How you guys doing? Hey, this is Mario Burr here. And glad you're taking the time out to check off this live. You know what I'm saying? So, as you can see, I wanna, I'm want i going to share something with you because what I'm going to be talking about is called unhealthy comparisons. So, I'm going to share a quick story with you. And I am kind of want to use it to... Um, uh, compare it to some professions that each one of us may be in. Maybe you're in, um, I don't know, whatever your profession is. If you're a, maybe you're a home business owner, maybe you're an entrepreneur, maybe you're a network marketer, maybe you're, you know, a professional on your job, maybe you're a professional in the gym, you know, uh, um, a Dewey McCoy, a Anthony, you know, McCoy, my cousin, a, a K1 Patterson, you know, any of those, you know what I'm saying? So I want to take the time to um, share something with you that I recently experienced yesterday morning, to be met as a matter of fact, or yesterday afternoon, as a matter of fact, I'm sorry, you know, that personally um, happened, all right? So me and a, a few other guys, we were in the gym, you know, working out. You know, and I noticed that, you know, um, a couple of the other guys that was beside us, they were, you know, really going real hard, going heavy, you know. And this gentleman walked up, all right, he walked up, and he kind of stopped. And I noticed he was watching, right? And with that being said, I, I was able to tell that he was a, a newbie, and nothing wrong with being a newbie. I mean, whatever it is that you do, everyone has somewhere to start. We've all been there, right? So I say that to say this. He goes over to um, the dumbbells and I noticed that he grabs some little heavier, you know, dumbbells. And, and, you know, some people are like, they're naturally, you know, strong, even if they never been in the gym. I mean, this dude, I was like, oh, he about to, he about to do this, do his thing, you know what I'm saying? So it kind of reminded me of, and I and I was like, what went through my head for a second was that um, where Kevin Hart was talking, and he was like, he was in the gym, and he he noticed, you know, he doing his thing. He had on a well, he he seen a guy, you know, in the gym, and he had this tank top on and everything. And he starts stacking all these plates on the bench, on the on the weight bench. He, I think he had like probably four forty fives on each side. He a little, he a smaller guy, right? And he pumping himself up, like, oh, 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 doing all that, getting everybody looking, and they are all looking. And all of a sudden, it's time for him to get up under the weight. And he like this, yeah, yeah. He get back up again, look at the weight, size the weight up, and everybody like, oh, he about to do this now, you know. Next thing you know, he walk off. <laughs> it kind of reminded me of that, but it wasn't that, you know what I'm saying? So check this out. I told Marquise he should go to the gym and do that one day and record it, you know, put him in DJ or something, throw five 45s on each side, get everybody all pumped up. They like, man, this dude's about to do this, you know, get everybody watching and get them pumped up and then walk away, and record it. But let's get back on track. I mean, I'm just being silly. But so as he was, he grabbed those dumbbells, right? And I noticed they were, you know, a little heavier for, you know, his size, you know? So he sit down at the bench and I noticed he was going, he went to lift them up and he's like, he's going all like this, trying to get it up, trying to press that weight, you know? And I started, I'm like, whoa, you know, to the point where I'm like, Man, he's about to hurt himself, you know what I'm saying? And the guy next to me, I noticed he started looking. He's looking through the mirror. He didn't want to be obvious. And I'm thinking in my mind, because he tried again to get it up, and he could not get it, get that weight bench, I mean, pressed up over his head, right? And his form was messed up. He was about to injure himself really bad, right? So I wanted to kind of um, intervene but I was like, uh, nah, I keep on, you know, doing my reps, you know what I'm saying? And because I didn't want to be intrusive. I didn't know how he would react where he was able to take, you know, me intervening and trying to help him out, correct it so he don't get hurt or not and get it offended. Some people are like that, but he wasn't like that, believe it or not. So 
I noticed he started saying something to me and I couldn't understand him because he was foreign. His accent was like way, you know, deep, right? So he was saying, help me, you know, help me, you know, talking like that. And I was like, huh? You know, and I walk over, I, I walk over to him. He's like, come here, come here. So I put my, I put my um, weight down and I walk over to him. He was like, help me, help me. And I was like, okay, you know. So he go at it and he like this. You know, trying to get it up and he could not get it up. So I, I intervened. I was like, look, man, this weight is way too heavy. He was like, no, it's not. I do this all the time. And I was like, okay, all right, all right. He's like, help me. So he tried one more time, couldn't get it up. So I convinced him to get a lighter weight. So he did just that, thank God, you know. Same issue, still couldn't get that weight up for anything, you know. So, man, it, it was so bad. I was like, oh man, he's gonna seriously hurt himself, you know. So we got to talking and I was like, man, this weight, I mean, this is just, even this right here is just way too heavy, you know? You shouldn't start, you know, with this heavy weight and stuff like this. He was like, no, I was throwing this up yesterday. I was doing, and I was like, well, look, man, I mean, I'm not trying to argue with you with all due respect. Um, we, some, we, we all have days, you know what I'm saying? We're, you know, we was probably throwing up some heavy weight one day and then we come in and we can't just throw up that same amount of heavy weight, you know, unless you're doing McCoy or K1, Patterson or, um, you know, Aunt Jackson. I, I said Aunt Jackson. Aunt McCoy, my cousin, you know. <laughs> I'm just playing. But, I mean, that's how it was, man. You just can't, you know. And, and I was trying to explain that to him, you know. So he was like, well, I didn't eat all day. I had nothing to eat. And I was like, man, that's a bad idea to not come in, you know, and not eat all day and come in and just start you know, trying to pound some weight away. You're going to hurt yourself, man. And I don't want that to happen. So I share that story with you. I'm checking something real here, right here on my laptop. But I share that story to say this. Have you ever found yourself with unhealthy comparisons? I know I have. To the point, when I say unhealthy, I mean um, to the point that you, um, that you start to emulate somebody to the point where you're faking it till you make it to your own harm. Because here's the truth. When you do that, you know what's going to happen? The truth is always going to come out. All right. You can't fake it till you make it. Maybe you can. When I say fake it to the make till you make it, you can fake yourself out into believing that you have already there, that you have already arrived meaning like you 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 you're going for a goal you could taste it you can feel it you could you visualize it you know what it's like you I mean and once you get there you can honestly say you know what this seems familiar you know it seemed like I've already been here before which I have because I vision being there being already being there in my mind you know what I'm saying? Even though physically you didn't have you didn't have the results at that time, but you visualized it to the point that you felt it. You you had that emotional connection to it. So I hope that don't sound, you know, spooky or anything. That's not what I'm trying to get at. I'm talking about visualizing um to the point, you know, so you can stay on track till you get there. You know? So I've done that before, you know. I found myself trying to be somebody that I wasn't or looking up to someone to the point that I found myself emulating them, you know, to the point that it was starting to harm me. And, and until I got to the point that I was, I had to find who I was, you know, and what I was doing. So when I say unhealthy comparisons, what I mean is this, you don't, let's take, um, let's take online business for, for an example. Okay. You have some big people say you just come out into the, into the um, profession, right? And you're so excited. Like we all been, and we're ready to go right at it. And we see people doing major things, getting major results. I named some people. Lisa Torres, Ray Higdon, you know, Tracy Walker, 
you know, um, Steve Krivda. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that's killing it. You know what I'm saying? And if you, you're trying to do what they do, that, that's a huge that's a huge issue. You're trying to compare yourself to them. And some people get to the point where they're like, I just can't do this anymore. You know, I, I can't be do what they do, you know, to the point where they end up quitting. They're getting frustrated. But you get one thing you got to understand, just like the person when he was in the gym, he was looking at those that were way advanced, way further along than than what he is that he tried to pick up some weight that everybody else was lifting because they they were seasoned and they they've been doing this a lot longer and he caused himself harm he could have he could have seriously you know injured himself so those are the people that's much more advanced than your niche whatever it may be you got to understand they may be in chapter 15 whereas you maybe just in the introduction stage of the book or chapter one. That person or persons who you are um, trying to compare yourself to, they've gone through some things, they're seasoned. They've gone through, you know, they, they perfected their skill set and whatnot. You know, they've gone through all the hardships and truth of the matter is, you know, those guys, they understand being a newbie because they were once a newbie. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever try to compare yourself to other people because it's very unhealthy, okay? Especially to the point that you try to be that person. Get that out of your head, trying to fake it till you make it, trying to um, make people believe that you have already arrived when you have it, you know? Be authentic. Be you. Forget you know, comparisons to other people because it's unhealthy. So hope this helped you out. Just wanted to share that with you real quick. This is Mario Bird. And guys, check this out. Check this out. I did a um, pre-recorded video um, the other day called The Three Powerful Keys to Online Success. I have two parts right now and I'm going to make a third part of it. So go ahead and check that out down there. So if I said anything that you like, go ahead and like it comment, share it. And if you're watching this on a pre-recording, by all means, go ahead and do just that. And if you believe that this can help someone else out, go ahead and share it with them. So guys, make it a great day. Later.